how do you as a Christian leader navigate your own sexual brokenness? I think sometimes in Christian leadership, we feel like we're not allowed to have temptations. We're not allowed to have brokenness. We're not allowed to struggle. And that kind of belief really puts you in a place where you can be isolated and actually your struggle can get worse. I think that's one of the main things that leads to some of these big scandals in Christian ministries because issues were never addressed when they were in their infancy. They had too much room to grow in secret and silence. And so resist that temptation to kind of be two-faced, to have uh, the ministry you that has it all together publicly and the private you that's really struggling with some secret things. In order to heal and address your sexual brokenness, that means you're going to need to seek out and find some safe spaces to be honest. And that might be within your church community. It might be a counselor who specializes in helping Christian leaders it might be with somebody who's discipling or mentoring you, but it's essential that you take that step. You may have heard me say it before, and I really believe it's true. We are all sexually broken. Being a pastor, being a counselor, being a ministry leader doesn't mean that you get a pass from things like trauma and temptation. Actually, sometimes the spiritual battle can be greater among spiritual leaders. And so you really want to seek those friends who can give you space to express what you're going through and those mentors, counselors, disciplers who can help walk you through that. And then finally, I would encourage you, don't be afraid to set limits in different seasons on what you feel comfortable doing. There's nothing wrong with saying to your leadership team, I don't feel like I'm in a space right now to teach on this, or I don't feel like I'm in a good space to lead this kind of group or to meet with this kind of individual. Instead of showing weakness, that actually shows maturity and discernment. And it gives you the space and the time to heal and to grow to where you're at the point where you really can minister in a more competent and confident way. Mm -hmm.